Good afternoon. I want to take you on a journey. I want to take you on my health journey. I got sick. I had a complete hysterectomy at the age of 42 and I tanked. And what I mean by I tanked is that I was depressed, suicidal. I had all the signs and symptoms of someone who's lost their hormone levels. When you go from here to here, you just have nothing left and it happens within 24 hours, which women do not know. And I did not know. So I started the search for how do I get well? Because the hormones affect almost 400 things in the body, 400. Now I never knew any of this because I wasn't paying attention. I was listening to everybody else and not focused on what I was, I was supposed to be doing for myself. But I got well. As you can see, I'm here. I'm perfectly well today. And I got well because a friend of mine shared a book with me. That book was called Screaming to Be Heard. Remember this, women. Screaming to Be Heard. That was me, only I was doing it silently. And so I found the doctor. I went to this doctor. She happened to be in my own backyard. Now, mind you, I'd gone to nine different doctors around the country. I had the resources to go wherever I wanted, and I did. And I still couldn't get well. I spent a year doing this, a year in bed, having no brain function, and trying to figure out how I was going to take my life without my family knowing it. And I did it with no one knowing. But when I got well, and this doctor got me well, I got mad. I got so mad, because I'd spent a year, and here it was, and it wasn't that hard of a fix. It was a few days, and I started to feel better. And I'm thinking, what the heck? And so, Guess what? I got so mad, I started a company. <laughs> because what do women do? We get mad and we go, OK, I'm going to fix this. Passion. Passion is so powerful. Because let me tell you something. I knew nothing about the internet, although I posted on it, but that was as far as I could go. Now, I had to build three websites. In fact, I want to write a book on build it and they won't come. <laughs> That's what it's going to be titled, my second book. Build it and they won't come. But what I learned from this experience is I wanted no other woman to suffer on my watch, not if I could help it, period. Because if I was suffering, what was happening to every other woman? They were suffering too and silently. So guess what? I learned one thing through all this. I've learned a lot of things, actually. More than I can share today with you in my 12 minutes. But one of the things I learned is that we're all put into one box. So we're treated like men. And I don't know about you, but I don't look like a man, I don't think. I mean, I d and I don't function internally like a man. None of us women do. We function differently, but yet 37% of the clinical trials are done on women only. The rest are done on men, so we're taking medication that is typically given to men. Oh, that's not a good thing. Not a good thing. So what do we do about all this? We need to change. So that's why I created Empower, right? There's sharing and dialogue that needs to take place. That's why I'm here today. I'm sharing with you my story, because we need to change the dialogue around women's health. Now, I'm sure some of you men are going, oh, this is women. But you know what? It affects every one of you in this room. And interestingly enough, there are a lot of men who come on the site, surprisingly enough. Now, some are coming for certain reasons, right? They want to know. What are women talking about? And when you say it's a site for women and it's for us, they automatically want to come because <laughs> they're not supposed to be there. But the truth is, is that we embrace everyone. 
for a reason. Because behind every man is a woman, a mother, a daughter, a wife, a girlfriend, a friend. And we all need this help, right? We need to start having this dialogue. And this is what we do. One of the things that we do is we ask, answer questions. Within 24 hours, you are going to get a response from us. And guess why? Because no one responded to me. I went to the internet and I posted over 200 times. I'm depressed. I need help. I wanted another woman like me that I could talk to and say, what's happening? Can you help me? And no one ever responded. So when we started the company, I said, we're going to have people who are going to respond within 24 hours. And I said, oh, no, you can't do that. I said, why not? They said, because that just doesn't work. It's not a scalable model. Oh, no, you can't do that. I said, we're going to do it anyway. And it's been the, one of the greatest things that we could do. It's really created that dialogue. And we have lots of people dialoguing back and forth. And we have what we call this energetic exchange. I love this term. Because you're, you're taking your energy. And you can see this with women. And this is why I wore these shoes today, by the way. Because it's been a little rocky on the, on the floor here. But women, for example, will be in the grocery store line, right? And what are they doing? There are, one's looking at the other shoes, and she's coveting her shoes. And of course, we all love shoes. And she finally says that powerful question, where did you get those shoes? And pretty soon, the dialogue begins. And the dialogue begins as I got them at such and such a place, they come in five different colors, um, they are, uh, I wear a size eight, by the way, um, you know, you should try them, and pretty soon you know everything there is to know about those shoes. And you now have had what I call an energetic exchange. One is receiving and one is giving. And those two women walk away and they may never see one another again, but they've had this exchange that's occurred that's so powerful. You can see the electricity about the shoes. That was what I wanted to create for women on the internet. And that's, what, what, that's that exchange. Gina, I'll give you some examples and some stories of some of these, some of the women. There have been thousands and thousands and thousands of women on the site who have had that energetic exchange, who have literally been, their life has been saved, changed, or improved. I did not set out to save a life. I didn't. I had no idea that that was going to happen. I had no idea. I'm really thrilled it happened, but that's not why I did this. I did this because I needed this for myself. And I wanted to make sure that everybody had this, that women had this for one another. And in Gina's case, I met, talk about energetic exchange, I met Gina on an airplane. Of course, as the good little marketer that I am, I handed her my card, and we had a conversation, and she went to the site. And in the early days of Empower Her, you could actually post directly to me. Not a scalable business model again, but... I wanted to see, what are women talking about? Will they dialogue with a stranger on the internet or not? What are, they, are they sick? Are they as sick as I think they are because of my own illness? And Gina says to me, she emails, I'm where you were. That's a 911. I called her. I emailed her back, and I gave her my number, and I talked to her for two hours on the phone. She got well. We found her the right doctor. She had a thyroid issue and which is very common with women. There's so, many issue, there's so many health conditions that we are not addressing today. Everybody knows what the pink ribbon means, right? Well, what is the first and second thing that are killers for women? Anybody know? What's the first? What's the second? Lung cancer. You know what the color ribbon is for that? That's what we need. This is what we need in women's health. We've got a rainbow of colors. We need one color that represents who we are and what we deserve to have in the way of our health and wellness, period. 
because we have been underserved for far too long. And Gina was an example of that. And Paula, I consider to be a hero. Paula got cancer. Three weeks later, her daughter got the same cancer. She survived, her daughter didn't. She survived her by four years. She was so angry, rightfully so. She had every reason to be angry. She did 45 video segments on Empower because she wanted to make sure that every other mother who was like she was had that information, had that exchange, could share. It was so powerful. And she has since passed away, but she's a hero. She, she, she left this journey. You know, she, had, she left a legacy for, for, for herself and her daughter and for all the women who are, who are going to find this sharing and dialogue so important. So we have this oath. I call, it's really an action. It's action. This is your action. It's your takeaway. I will advocate for myself. I didn't do that. Just admitting. I didn't do that. I let everybody else take care of me. Not going to happen anymore. You need to speak up and speak out. It's your health. You need to own it. Own it. Take charge of your record. Know your records. Keep them. Have all these things that you don't have. I bet most of you in this room don't have your records organized in one spot, right? Do you know what your blood work looks like? No? Get a binder. Stick it in there. Know what your, know what your numbers are. But here's the one that I think is so important. I will fight for change. Women, we need to have a voice. And we need to start using it. We need to take that voice. We need to take our power. Men, please help us. Because you know one thing, that if mom's not happy, no one's happy. We know this. It's the truth. And we need to make the change. And you're, the, you're in the same boat. You are. The healthcare system's broken. It is broken. We have to fix it. The only way that it's going to fix is by shifting this paradigm through sharing, through sharing and having a dialogue. Because then we're going to see what the changes are. And it's not a one size fits all. We're all different and unique. So there's going to be different things for different people. It's important. Sharing and dialogue is it. It is the journey. It's the hero's journey. And every single one of us can be our own hero. And that's what's the most important thing. Be your own hero. And collectively, we're going to make the world a better place, a healthier place. Thank you.